Merry Christmas and God bless you to all of my YouTube family. I just want to make a short video really quick about Christmas, what Christmas is really about, should Christians celebrate it, and I also want to tell you this will be the last video, medium form or long form, that I will be doing on my cell phone. A new camera is coming in the year of 2024 in Jesus' name, so this will be the last time you see a low-quality video for a long duration of time, so I thank God for that, but let's get into it. Let's tackle this one first. Many Christians will say, should we celebrate Christmas as Christians? My answer to you, absolutely yes. There's nothing wrong with celebrating Christmas. Well, Alex, what about the, the pagan roots and you know why would you put up a Christmas tree? Yada, yada, yada. That's pagan. Well, friend, let me tell you what also is pagan. So many different things in our world today is pagan that you're probably partaking in. As a matter of fact, if you're married, a wedding ring was literally a pagan tradition. So Let's just crush that and get that out of the way. Stop acting like you're super spiritual or super religious because you don't celebrate Christmas. If that's your conviction, go ahead. But stop trying to tell people that you know they're condemned and it's not right and that it's sin. Just stop it. There's nothing wrong with getting with your family and celebrating Jesus and just being thankful for the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, should we be thankful every day? Yes, Jesus is the reason for the season and for every single day of our lives. So every single day, we should be grateful and thankful for Jesus, for him being born, for him dying and raising from the dead and being in our lives today. Now, secondly, what is Christmas truly about? Well, I'm gonna tell you, Christmas is not about a tree. It's not about the gifts under the tree. And it's not even about getting together with your family. What Christmas is truly about is a man named Jesus who died on a tree for you and for me and gave us the precious gift of his Holy Spirit and also gave us the precious gift of eternal life. And this is the good news of Christmas. This is the good news of Jesus Christ, that all of humanity has fallen short of the glory of God. We've all committed sin, but Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sin and your sin so that we could be forgiven. The Bible says sin and death entered in through Adam by one man, but also by one man has forgiveness and eternal life entered in. And by grace, through faith, when being born again, you can be forgiven, you can be healed, you can be delivered. Delivered, and you too, friend, can have eternal life all because of Jesus Christ. Now, the last two things I want you to think about is this. As you're celebrating Christmas this year, receiving gifts, giving gifts, spending time with your family, and just reflecting on who Jesus is and who Jesus is personally to you, out of any time of the year, lights get decorated all over the world. And whether people realize it or not, it's symbolic and prophetic because Jesus Christ, when he entered into this world, he is the light of the world. And he called us a city on a hill that we too could be children of the light, not of the day, but children of the light. And we can bear the image of Christ as Christ bared the image of God. We can bear the image of Christ on this earth. And number two, I want you to think about in Luke chapter two, it says that Jesus was born in a major because the Bible says there was no room for him in the inn, meaning he could have been born at the inn, but there was no room for him. Friend, just as Jesus was born into this world, the world was already making an excuse on why they could not include Jesus into their life, why they wouldn't allow Jesus to be birthed because they're too busy, too much going on, a heavy schedule, and maybe that's you. Friend, I want to tell you, make room for Jesus. Make room. Allow Jesus to be in your morning, in your evening, in your nighttime. Allow Jesus to be in your mind, in your family, in your thought life. Allow Jesus to birth something beautiful through the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Don't be like in Luke chapter 2 where there was no room for him. We can make every excuse in the world, especially in America. I'm too busy. I've got a job. I've got this. I can't go to church. I can't pray. I can't read. But we can scroll for hours and we can be so distracted and discouraged and just have no focus. Friend, I want to encourage you on this beautiful Merry Christmas in 2023. Allow room for Jesus to move in your life. It'll be the greatest decision that you can ever make. God bless you all. Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you, Happy New Year. And I can't wait to see you guys in 2024. God bless you.